Got a video for you today to go over a lot of the features on the new 118th scale late model car that we just released. So we'll start with the body. Obviously, that's one of the biggest things. Um, the body is a multi piece body. Uh, the main body section or the main shell is all one piece. Uh, the rear wing and end plates and stuff are attached to the main body. Uh, you can remove the body by taking these two screws, these two screws, and these two screws out. When you remove this main body, this inner panel will stay. And we had to make that uh, separate piece just to get the look, obviously, that we were going for. Uh, so it really mimics the, the big cars. So that piece will stay uh, the same. But when you remove this main body, you can get to most of the pieces. If you wanted to take the rest of it off, you can take the screws off for the cage top, and that comes off, and then this panel will come off. Uh, this car does use some of the same parts as the other cars. Uh, the rear end assembly is the same as the Sprint car. It has the Sprint car gears. It'll have the 8700 uh, 8, kV motor and the 10 tooth gear on it. So it's the same as the Sprint car. The electronics, the speed control and the receiver are the same. The radio will be the same as in all the other cars. The servo is different in this car. This is a little bit different servo just because of the style of this car. So, uh, it does have a different servo saver setup. Uh, the servo saver action is the same, but it's just a little bit different setup because of the way the rods go. Uh, it is independent suspension in the front uh, to mimic the big cars. So, um, you know, remember that the servo is a little bit different. Now we will, uh, the option Metal Gear digital servo that we have for the other cars does fit in this car. And we will have a solid servo arm for that as well. And we also will offer some adjustable tie rods. Uh, we'll have those out right away as well. Um, the, the cage itself is all brand new um, from top to bottom. The battery box is fairly close to the other battery box, has a lot of similarities. But we did put a little channel on the side of it here to help keep the wires a little bit more um, tight inside the car just because the whole bottom of this car is open. Uh, so it has a little bit different battery box, but the action's the same, the little clip's the same, all that. The switch is still located in the front. Um, for the cage itself, um, here's one without uh, all the pieces on or out the body. So you can see we really tried to get the scale appearance as close as we could. Um, you know, we, we had to take some liberties in some areas just because of the way things are molded, but we did put a fake engine in it. It's got an air cleaner on it. The air cleaner is removable. Uh, it's got the headers on it. It has a hole in the front of the engine here. That's actually where the servo goes and the servo mounts right here. Uh, it has a strut across the front where all the suspension arms and stuff attach. And then the front bumper goes here. It's got a side nerf bar. It's got a fuel tank in the back. Uh, the driver is the same from all the cars. Uh, so that's kind of nice and handy to have. Uh, as we, we'll do another video to talk more about the suspension in the front. Um, but it is, like I said, it is independent suspension. Uh, the shocks are the same uh, as the other cars, but we don't use the coil over in the front. Uh, the front actually has a spring inside the upper or the lower A-arm area. Uh, and then you can adjust the spring tension by these two holes here. Uh, we did that mainly because there was really no good way to get into the front shock to put the spring clips in. Uh, the back, you can still get in there. Uh, it's a little tight, but you can still get in there. But the front, there was no way to do that. So we kind of uh, changed things up a little bit in the front. Uh, so the spring is, is down underneath this or above this lower arm. And we'll do another video to show you uh, more about that spring. Uh, this does have adjustable caster in it as well. You access that by these two slots in the front. And again, we'll do another video to show you that. Uh, the tires and wheels are all uh, new on this car. The tires are the same size all the way around. Uh, the wheels uh, are different front and rear, obviously, because the fronts have bearings. The rear has a hex. Uh, all the bearings are the same on the car. Um, the, we will offer the soft version tires as well, just like on all the other cars. And a lot of the option parts we have, like the aluminum shocks, uh, the different spring sets, all that stuff will fit on this car. Um, so I think that covers the majority of it. It does have a, a foam front bumper, but there is a metal bumper. You can see that underneath there, and the foam is trapped on either side of that. Um, some people may elect not to run the foam. We recommend leaving it in there just because it offers a little support, especially on the sides like this and some of the front impacts, uh, just to try to help save the body a little bit. Uh, it does have an or a metal side nerf bar to help keep the body out there. Uh, as I mentioned, the driver's the same. Uh, the rest of the body's all different. 
So I think that covers everything so far uh, that we wanted to go over. Uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of questions. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely hit us up on our social media pages or our website, send us an email, we'll answer those. Uh, if we start getting some of the same common questions, we'll try to do another features video to cover that. Uh, we will have a whole bunch of uh, additional videos that we'll put out, uh, like I said, on the front springs, the caster, uh, we'll, you know, stuff like that. We'll do some more videos on that to go over those. Um, so if you have any questions, let us know, and thanks for watching.